Split Screen is a great tool on the iPad. Here I am uh, in Safari and Notes. On the left hand side I have uh, the Safari app open to the JPS site. On the right hand side I have the Notes app open. The problem is getting into split, split Screen is tough for some of our students. To get into Split Screen currently you have to have an app open and then you have to tap hold on the app you want in Split Screen and then drag it over to the side. Now it doesn't seem that hard, but sometimes when you tap and hold uh, too long on an app, another menu comes up and it just becomes difficult, again, especially for our younger students. So we came up with an easier way to get into split screen, and that's by using this. This is called Assistive Touch. It's an accessibility feature that's uh, normally used for students who struggle uh, with tapping and holding, double tapping on an iPad. It, when you open it, you can customize the commands on there. So if I want a screenshot, for example, I can just open that up so I don't have to uh, use the power button and the home button at the same time. Instead, I can just take a screenshot. What we're going to use uh, for is get it into what's called multitasking or creating a split screen. But the first thing we need to do is show you how to uh, get this on your screen and customize it. So you first do that by opening up settings. In settings, over on the left hand side you find accessibility and we want to adjust the touch feature in accessibility. Then this is called assistive touch so that's what we want to turn on. Make sure you turn that on and then when you're done with that customize the top level menu. So we want to customize what uh, what it says. Now you can, I think you can have up to seven, yep you can have up to seven and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, add the multitasking. So if you see a plus sign, go ahead and hit the plus sign. If you don't see a plus sign, if there's already seven, you can uh, click tap on any of these and change them. If I tap on Siri, I can then change that button to do any of these commands. Now I have all of mine. Find yourself, um, either hit the plus sign or choose one that you want to replace and add multitasking. When you're done with that, go back to the home screen. Okay, now we want to open an app. Now the app still has to be on the dock that you end up uh, split screen with. So we're gonna just open Safari. Safari doesn't, the first app you have doesn't have to be in the dock. It just so happens that Safari is in there. We're gonna open up Safari and now I want to uh, use split screen. So I tap on the assistive touch button. I just tap on multitasking and then I can make a decision. Do I want uh, to put the new app on the right? Do I want to put the new app on the left? Do I want it just to hover over top of the current app? So let's just put the notes app on the right. So I tap it, put it on the right. This pops up and I just have to tap notes. There's no tapping and holding. There's no dragging. It's just single tap all the way through. Notes up in the notes app. If you notice in the middle of the split screen is there's a handlebar. I can make it in the middle, I can minimize the um, the uh, Safari app, and if I want just notes, I can drag this all the way over, and it just the notes app opens. Now, there's one that was in there that uh, isn't just split screen, so you have the ability to hover an app over top of a full app. So uh, let me show you what that looks like. If I tap on um, the assistive touch, tap on multitasking, you'll see open new app with slide over. I can have Safari just sit on top uh, of this app, and I can navigate Safari just like it, just like it's open. I can grab on the handlebar at the top of this, and I can move it over to the left-hand side if I want to see something, and I can tap, hold on the handlebar, pull it down, and turn it into a split-screen app. Okay, that was just an easier way for our kids to get into multitasking. I would also um, suggest that you take a little bit of time and look at the different settings um, that you can, you can use. So get rid of double tap. If kids struggle with double tap, you can have a double tap uh, button in multitasking. Uh, and then if you scroll down into the accessibility, things like speak screen is a uh, is a great feature that we can put there. So you bring up an article for kids to read and you want them to speak the screen, uh, that can be a button right inside of Assistive Touch. Um, okay, thanks.